Uh, good day to you people of the internet and welcome to this video tutorial uh, where I'm going to show you how to fix the uh, 0xc0000007b thing. This is Ramsey and stay tuned because I'm going to show you in a moment a magic trick that's going to get all your games to work. Now, suppose you have a bunch of games, alright? Me as an example, I have a bunch of games here. As you can see, Assassin's Creed, no. Same fucking error. It just shows. It can be really frustrating. Pro Evolution Soccer, doesn't work. Call of Duty Black Ops 1, doesn't work. Lord of the Rings, Rise of the Witch King, doesn't work. Battle for Middle Earth. You start them all, and they don't fucking work. Pro Evolution Soccer 2013, doesn't work. Well, this can be really fucking frustrating. Now, I know that a lot of you would just, you know, give up at this point and would just, you know, want to smash their computers or they would just, you know, want to, um, I don't know, format and get a new operating system. Well, this is, this, this fix is for Windows 7 uh, operation system 64-bit. Let me just show you the things from my laptop. Here they are. We have an operating system, 64-bit operating system. Uh, this is it. Now, to get with the fix, without any further ado, now as you can see that here are my specs here. Now, we come here, I down somewhere here. Uh, yeah, there. See, now uh, you have this uh, 00007 fix files. Now, you get these three files, these magical files, I'd like to call them. Now, watch this. Here are the files. Now, before we copy them, let's just try it one more time. See, it doesn't work, doesn't work, doesn't fucking work, doesn't work, doesn't work. Now watch the magic. So you see here, you select all these files that you download. Uh, again, the description is, the the uh, download link is down in the description. I'm going to include it there uh, so it's accessible for all of you out there. Uh, again, this fix may not work. Uh, best with some of your games, but it will fix most of your games. I would say 90% of your games are fixed thanks to this, thanks to these files. So you come to Windows, you make sure you copy them to both files. You overwrite whatever files that already exist there. So uh, yeah, do this with all the files. Continue. Okay, uh, people usually, you know. Um, get frustrated again when they see an error like this but and they start looking on Google's and they try to look into permissions and how do you get rid of the permission if you are the administrator and you are the owner of the computer don't worry about that just skip the files they're probably just two or three at most uh, you don't really need them anyways what we really need are these files and they are copied basically DX, D3, DX9, uh, 24 and uh, so on and so forth to 43 those are the, the, the most important ones so it really doesn't matter if those files are not copied because of the permission thing and you go to wow 64 and uh, you do the same thing you do the same thing you notice that there's a huge difference between the two. like this one is 1.42 megabytes and this one is 1.85 megabytes so there's a difference uh, between these files so you just replace everything continue well permission thing skip it doesn't matter yeah so here we go here we all are we have our files that are needed now um, to test it now fingers are crossed and hopefully this one is going to fix everything. So let's try this one. As you can see, my Razer Cortex now is starting to enhance my game. And there you go. The game is up and running. That's great, but I'm not going to run it at this time. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to uh, close it. So that's one. Assassin Creed confirm, confirms like the fix. Now to try another one. Black Ops, which is the one that most people are really are struggling with to run. Run the game, see here, uh, whatever. Razor Cortex again is working. The game is working. There you go. See, it's here, up and running. Black Ops. Uh, yeah, things are working great, really. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. Let's just close this one. Yeah, sir. I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna have you like running now at this time, of course. 
let's just um yeah end this real quick and show you the uh, rest of the programs that didn't we also tried this one as well pro evolution soccer uh, well, it's, uh, it still has a problem no worries yeah here we go you run it as administrator it works it's up and running now yeah uh, I don't know if it'll show up on the uh, recorder but it's now working pretty fine we go to another uh, yeah the rise of the witch king probably shouldn't open these because well, they will work for sure but let's try them anyways here they are run as administrator as usual here they are here you go the game is up and running ready to be used anytime so uh, yeah the game works uh, that's all I have for you today uh, thank you so much for uh, sticking around to the end of this video if you liked it give it a big thumbs up share it with your friends uh, it will help most of them again this fix works with uh, Assassin Creed, Pro Evolution Soccer 2017, 2013. I tried it with Lord of the Rings, The Rise of the Witch King, Battle for Middle Earth 2, uh, the original game, Black Ops 1, um, Call of Duty used different files, the Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the games that I have here, they use different, uh, different DLL files, so you don't have to worry about that. They work even though you don't have those files. Uh, other games you probably work just, um, just as good so make sure you share this video with your friends help them out to fix this problem and uh, we'll see you uh, guys next time thank you very much and um, yeah subscribe if you like this um, material and if you have any further questions on how to fix things then make sure you comment uh, down below and I will get back to you uh, whenever I can thank you so much and I will see you next time